In this video, we'll talk about the real reason we are constantly distracted. We have got things inside out when it comes to how to be more focused. Even though our Facebook, Instagram, thousands of notifications, phone calls, WhatsApp, and what have you constitute the majority of what distracts us today, they are not the real reasons for our distractions. It might interest you to note that our mind is responsible for this distraction. According to research conducted by two Harvard psychologists, psychologists Daniel Gilbert and Matthew Killingsworth discovered that the human mind is wired to be continually distracted. These two psychologists researched with 2,250 adults, and it was concluded that we spend around 47% of every waking hour mind-wandering. This is also known as stimulus-independent thought. When our mind wanders, we don't even notice it because it's so natural and ordinary to us. Mind-wandering is fantasizing about the dream company or position you hope to have in a few years, or waiting at the gate for your plane. It is driving in your car thinking about how you forgot to reply to some emails in the morning. It is picturing yourself in a conference call sitting on a bench in Bali with a cocktail. We can all recognize this state because it's mostly the default mode of the brain. There are two implications to this insight. First, it reveals that distraction is a default mind game. The path has to include developing a new habit of not effectively managing our precious resources. If we want to skillfully manage the distractions more, and if we want to get focus. The second implication is that we have to pay less attention to what we are doing and more to how we are being. This research also reveals that wandering of the mind is connected to unhappiness rather than activities. We don't usually think this way. Most of us believe that doing pleasant things will make us happy. However, the research shows that activities are just 4.6 of our happiness. Instead of time traveling, being truly here account for 10.8%. We need to now ask ourselves an important question. So how can we shift from wandering to focus? Here's how. Pay attention to when your mind starts wandering. This is difficult because mind wandering is like a dream. Understand that you are not aware of what is happening when you are rehearsing an argument you think you are about to have with a coworker. That moment is when you are oblivious to what is happening around you. Therefore, it starts with your ability to notice when you get caught in a wandering state. And it's difficult to the extent that you may need to set up a cue that will help you remember to notice. Shift your attention and focus on the present. Shifting your attention to what is happening in the present when you notice you are mind wandering is also helpful. It could be listening fully to the person you are talking to, engaging fully in the email you are typing, or tasting the last crumbs of food you just had in your mouth. When you are idle, you can pay attention to blaring car horns, the wind, the sensation in your body, or paying attention to sights. Rewire, refocus, and savor the moment. Strengthening the habit of mind is the final step. All you need is just 15 to 30 seconds to remain in the state and savor the experience of being here. The truth is, just dropping the habit of mind wandering is not only difficult, but it's also impossible. So you need to know that if you caught yourself getting swept and forgetting, know that you're not doing anything wrong. You're only being human. For more free educational content, visit learnforfree.biz. Content produced and distributed by AllSuperInfo.